What's going on guys? Today we have horrible weather, but I have a fun project I wanted to share with you guys. So today we're gonna talk about nipples, not just any nipples, smoke nipples. If you guys remember a while back, I made a video with the scout machine showing my smoke installation and how it works and why it's so much fun to have a smoke machine on your paramotor. But semi recently, the rib nut in the exhaust that holds my current nipple injector thing has kind of loosened up. It vibrates and wiggles and leaks a little bit now. And conveniently, at the same time, the guys from Bad Dog Smokes reached out. They make smoke injector, smoke injector nipples for RC airplanes. They sent over what they think will work. We've got a new nipple, a new mechanism to hold the nipple. We also have a check valve, which I wasn't running before. So in doing this, I wanna do a little testing to see if I get different results with the new nipple compared to the old nipple. The old nipple is simply like a piece of machined stainless steel and it has a hole through it. It's relatively big. On this new nipple, we have like a microscopic hole with a atomizer fan thing at the end. So the idea is by atomizing the oil, it'll burn and turn into smoke better. And with a smaller hole, we'll hopefully get longer uh, smoke runtime on the same volume of smoke. Before we do anything, I'm gonna pour in 20 ounces of smoke oil to my pre-existing nipple and just run through the entire tank, see how long it lasts and observe the characteristics of the engine. Then I'm gonna do the swap, put on the new nipple and add another 20 ounces do the same test, see if we get a longer runtime, see if the characteristics are any different. And then after that, I have used vegetable oil. And I always kind of wondered if, ew, that's disgusting. If um, vegetable oil would work in a smoke system and as we fly around, it'll smell like french fries. That's the theory, I don't know. First step is going to be filling the tank with oil and running out an entire 20 ounces on the current nipple setup. All right, so this is the first initial test of the smoke system. I'm running 20 ounces of baby oil on the original nipple. This is what I'm used to. Notice how thick and fluffy the smoke is, coming out nice and strong. I ran it at full throttle smoke on the entire time, and the elapsed time for an entire tank, 20 ounces, was exactly one minute, which was a bit faster than I expected, but that's what you get. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse the rest, check it out, pretty sick. All right, no fire trucks yet. Good thing it's foggy out. First step to this job is I'm gonna take the entire exhaust off. So I'm gonna pull this bad boy off. Um, only downside is it's smoking hot right now, so I'm gonna be careful. All right, so here's a quick overview of all the parts. This is the rib nut that I drilled out. This is the original injector nozzle nipple. This is the new one, the new tiny little streamline injector. It's got a pinhole at the end and you can see this notch cut out is uh, for atomizing and turning the oil into a fan spray. And this is the hardware you are given to uh, mount this nozzle in place of a rib nut. Now this setup, is epic. It'd be nice if um, I didn't already have a giant huge hole drilled in my exhaust because the only issue I have is look at that play. My hole that the original rib nut was in is too big for this. Um, if you were starting fresh and you didn't have a hole drilled and you drilled it to the right spec, this would be perfect. Now I'm going to try to make it work anyway with this little guy, incoming washer, and uh, he's hopefully going to help smooth that over. Let's see if we can get this hardware in this hole. All right, so it's a new day, we're back. Last night, I actually did the test with the new nipple but it was dark because sunset is so early nowadays. 
And with the lights I had available, I could see like 10 feet worth of the smoke trail. And I wasn't happy with the, uh, the video and my actual test to compare to the daylight test. So we're back and it's bright out and we're gonna do the new nipple test with baby oil first, see how that runs. And then we're gonna do the elusive used cooking oil. Let's get her set up and give it a try. All right, here we go with test number two. This is with a brand new nipple, same 20 ounces of smoke. And the only thing I will point out is that this day was a bit windier, so the smoke didn't linger, it got blown away. Now, let's look at the pros. As opposed to the first test, which I got a minute, this time I got a minute and 40 seconds. The other benefit is that with the original nipple, the engine bogged a lot. With this, it ran a lot smoother because there was, I guess, less volume. Now the cons of this is obviously you can tell that smoke isn't as thick and luscious. Still awesome, but not as thick. So pros and cons weighed. I think I wanna fly with it to see how the smoke actually looks in the air, but I have a feeling I might miss that massive volume I got from the old nipple. All in all, remember this system was made for an RC airplane. Paramotors are bigger displacement and probably run a lot hotter. So I'm thinking I might wanna drill out my new nipple just a little bit to get a bit more volume. We'll see. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. Used vegetable oil, used for frying. Will it make smoke? We shall see. Do you see that? I couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't think it was actually gonna work personally. It's putting out as much smoke, I think, as the baby oil with this particular nozzle. Now, here's the thing. If you can find yourself a supplier for used cooking oil, like McDonald's or something, you've got yourself an endless supply of free smoke oil. But here's the cons and why I won't be switching. This stuff is kind of disgusting. When you're just handling it, if you get it on your skin, it's kind of gross. And like baby oil is made for your skin, so it's not that bad. The other thing is this stuff stinks. It smells like someone burnt the Thanksgiving turkey. It's not a pleasant smell. Uh, baby oil, on the other hand, when you blow it out and you fly through it, it's got lavender or pomegranate or whatever. It smells really nice. So overall, I was impressed, but I'm not going to be switching. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am going to wrap it up here as we burn out the last bit of frying oil. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out. Virtual boop. Bye.